Hi everyone, it's still Wednesday. I'm Luluco and this is Geeks of the Week. So, not feeling all that great today. I felt like poop all day. So I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible. Um, in the interest of that, I won't be catching up on the two weeks of videos that I would normally be responding to. Sorry guys, I still love you. Um, part of the reason why my video is so late tonight is because I'm slowly starting my project for my senior capstone class. Um, and I only really mention this because naturally I made it nerdy and awesome. Um, I'm actually going to be observing and participating in my university's esports club and then writing a paper about the things I've observed. It's more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. So fortunately for me, uh, most everyone who is in the club plays League, which basically means I get to play League of Legends for science. I think that's the very definition of a life hack. Anyway, I mention this in part because it's super cool and I figure you guys might be interested, um, but also in part because they meet up to play every Wednesday. Um, so, uh, Wednesday night to be exact, until like 10 o'clock. So, my videos for the next few weeks will likely be posted even later than usual, though I will try my best to somehow get them er done earlier, if at all possible. Speaking of League, I am really happy to hear that Mario and Pyro are starting to really enjoy playing the game, which makes me very happy. Although, somehow, I never see Pyro online. Ever. Ever. We've played once together. Just, just once, and it makes me sad. Um, this really needs to stop. But Pyro mentioned League cosplay, and obviously I'm so down for that. Um, I have one that I really want to get started on. But it's all armor, and I don't want to say who it is, but I really want to do it, like, right now. But I gotta wait. Anyway, um, would love to cosplay League with everybody. Um, hopefully everybody. Um, and be twinsies with Pyro, because Riven's the best. And I just want to play cosplay all the things with all all my geeks so much. Anyway, the good thing about me being on Wednesdays um, is that I now get to talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before anybody else on the channel. Uh, which makes Nikki really mad. Uh, we were in a call playing League last night. She was like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was so great! I was like, I haven't even watched it yet, but I'm going to be the first one to talk about it. She was so mad. Uh, love you, waifu. So, obviously, I'm excited because I got my Marvel on. Um, and so I did watch the first episode this morning because I don't have cable, but it was on Hulu. So, bless, bless Hulu. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Hulu, but they have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I'm pretty happy right now. So, I definitely enjoyed the first episode overall. Um, the sets and the costumes and the effects are all really well done, and it just, it definitely feels like you're watching just, like, an extension of the Avengers movie, or almost, like, I guess technically it's a sequel. But, um... Although, sadly, there is no trace of Scarlett Johansson anywhere. I'm going to keep hoping for cameos week after week, because I just miss all the Avengers so much. Um, Clark Gregg is still absolutely flawless as Agent Coulson. He is definitely the star of the show. He's hilarious and perfect. Um, of course, he gets the best one-liners in the entire show. I do have two issues so far. The first... The guy the show was seemingly centered around is completely unlikable. Um, obviously, I didn't even bother to remember his name. If they even stated it, I don't know, because he's just not likable. So I'm really hoping that maybe it's actually just Agent Coulson's fun time hour, and not all about this guy, because he's a porcupine, and no one wants to watch a show about a porcupine. Um... Second, a lot of the writing borders on cheesy, and it's inconsistently decent in some places and almost cringe-tastically bad in others, and some of the acting is the same way. And I know a lot of people tend to complain about this pretty frequently with Joss Whedon's work, and I've never had an issue with it in the small handful of his works that I've actually seen. Yes, I'm a bad nerd, whatever. Um... But in this show, it's pretty painfully obvious that writing is not always his forte. Um, I still have very, very high hopes for this show. It's really nice to see a high-quality superhero show on a major network. This has not happened in my lifetime, I'm pretty sure. 
um, at least not <laughs> as long as I've been able to watch television. So I'm really excited for that alone, but like I said, I did genuinely enjoy the first episode um, for the most part, and I'm really looking forward to next week's episode already. I'm so excited. And even more awesome is that apparently, I think it's Fox is coming out with a show about a young detective, Gordon, um, this is basically, I guess, their way of going up against Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and I don't give a fuck, because, um, more superhero shows, and even though I'm, like, perpetually angry at DC, I freaking love Detective Gordon, so that's gonna be awesome, too. <sighs> so much happiness in the geek world today. That's all for me. I'm gonna keep this from running too long, because I would really like to go to bed and get this uploaded. So thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. You can follow me on Instagram now because I got shot my iPhone. I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this and I'm not gonna shut up about it forever. So yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, follow the geeks on Facebook, follow all of us. We all are on Twitter and all that stuff. Um, that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.